weaker. True. Kwame Nkrumah foresaw this and spoke about it. Kwame Nkrumah told us that, look, it was not sufficient to say that we have sucked the white man from our soil and that they will come back mm. either in their multinational or bilateral forms and that they will even become more dangerous than when they were present with us. The IMF and World Bank were not formed to solve African problems. They were formed to solve the European problems after the World, world War. Right? That's, that's true. So if those institutions were formed, why is it that they are not the solution to Europe and America any longer? And it has to take developing countries to be the ones to be going to the IMF and World Bank. So Kwame Nkrumah saw this and told us, we refuse to listen. Why? Well, some people wanted to become rich. You are not aware of the Afrifers, the Halis, and the Kutukas who became rich, taking over $30 million so that they can ensure that Kwame Nkrumah was overthrown. They took money mm. at the expense of all of us and kaput the African agenda. Mm. And so this is where we are. And the major problem of Kwame Nkrumah was not the expansionist or the interventionist projects that he was putting for Ghana and Africa, but the enlightenment that he was giving to the continent of Africa. Unfortunately, today, how many people will be in the position to enlighten Africa? And the few that you wanted to identify within mm -hmm. the continent of Africa as Pan-Africanists cannot win political office. I heard him speak mm -hmm. so passionately about Professor PLO Lumumba. Right. PLO Lumumba cannot win an election in Kenya. Why? Because Why? the forces external will come at him because they know mm. that when he wins, the narrative will change. It will be an African narration. And so the forces external to the continent will come at him and then they will marshal and ensure that he doesn't get resources or he is stifled in a manner that some people will be supported to win. Mm.